rises. Public preference for Lincoln Continental as the symbol for today's luxury motoring. A car whose classic styling has already become a tradition. Hey, hey, it's Jason ODB, a.k.a. The Lincoln Attic. I hinted on episode 19, I have something coming. The carrier just got here. We're watching a football game, Steelers-Packers. It's halftime. Check this out. The neighbors are going to love this. They're probably like, what the hell? Moving stuff today. Making room. Here we go. That's a huge trailer. The fun is just beginning. So dude, I'm super stoked. I just talked to the guy, really nice guy. Said he had some issues with his truck, not the car. You can see it peeking right there. Thank you so much to Robert from Washington. He's a great guy. Met him through the Lincoln Forum, good dude. A lot more videos coming of this car, comparing it to the 64 as well. So much love, thanks for uh, following. Let's keep watching, see how this goes down. Check out this awesome hauler. The back flips up and uh, pretty cool stuff. Really nice guy, great company. Here she is, the first look. This is as close as I've gotten to the car. Super excited. Pretty fascinating how this whole trailer system works. He's spending a couple minutes just unhooking things and getting the car where he can drive it out. just climbed in the car, cranked it up. I'm excited to see how this goes. Pretty simple overall, but I wouldn't feel comfortable driving in that, even though I've dealt with trailers a long time. Super nice guy. Said basically had some maintenance issues with this, not maintenance, but issues with the rig which resulted in a little bit of a delay, but he was super cool. Super cool dude. Thanks again to Robert from Washington for this. Southern California car. Hey, hey, so I showed you some video. Vladimir, super nice guy, delivered the car. Started right up, took it for a quick uh, drive down to the end to turn around to be able to get in the yard here. Check it out. Thanks to Robert. We're going to do the top. Going down for the first time. Got the family here. We're going to take a quick drive. This car needs to have the steering column rebuilt. Um, which is something that I was aware of. And that's key to always keep your foot on the brake. I've mentioned that before. I'm going to do more videos about that. Nathan Wilson has done uh, videos about that. You can't leave these cars idling. They could shift into reverse, damage the car, and or really, really hurt someone. So there you have it. 65 Leakins on the rise. Yo, yo, so check this out. I'm going to wrap this video up with a quick uh, rundown. The car's been here since last Sunday. It's now Friday. I drove it after I put the top down. We went with the fam. Quick trip, kind of around the block. Um, grandkids loved, you know, my mom was there. Her grandkids loved it. And man, it's just been a blast. Uh, I put the car up that Monday. And I haven't had a chance to really do anything. There's so much cool stuff that came with this car. I got to thank Robert again. Uh, big ups to him. Um, today I went and got it registered. So I drove it to the DMV in Florida. You have to get the VIN verified. The DMV by my house will do it. So that was easy. Um, I came home, I washed the car. I'll throw a little bit of B-roll in here to kind of show you just the first wash. I had a bunch of just gunk on it, obviously from being 
in that shipping kind of container truck for uh, just over a week. But there's a lot more videos coming. I would tell you, man, uh, I love Lincolns. You guys know that. Uh, get out there, love your dream, or live your dreams, rather. If you want to get a Lincoln, look for them. Uh, follow my Lincoln Continental Sales on Instagram. Um, man, they're fun cars. They obviously come with kind of some baggage, but if you get a good one and you meet the right people and you do them right, you can build these cars and you can have a good time. This one, Robert did a ton to this car already, and uh, it's going to make this car's uh, existence uh, from here on out much, much easier. But I got to thank Hardcore Garage. Uh, dude, I started following his page. I'll put a link in the bio. It's a really good dude. Um, he's passionate about the square body trucks, the S10s. And he's a mini trucker, but his channel isn't too infused with mini trucker lifestyle stuff. It's it's the stuff he loves, which are the trucks. So check it out. That's how I got the idea to kind of wrap this video up, sitting here in the car. It's getting hot. The AC on this car is one thing that has to be uh, tended to. But uh, it's about to rain in Florida. So I am going to keep the top up, put this thing in the shop, and then be ready to cruise for this weekend, which probably is going to be rainy but I don't care. So uh, thank you for the support. Search Lincoln Addict via any podcast app, including the pre-installed iPhone podcasts app. Uh, just search Lincoln Addict, hit follow and or subscribe. And I uh, certainly appreciate all the support. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, leave a thumbs up. ODB, we out you. Thank you, Robert. Peace. Miles ahead of competition in every showdown. Yes, convertible or sedan. The Lincoln Continental is the big, roomy luxury car that again in 65 will be motordom's symbol of quality. An automobile and a tradition.